welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing this boring dancing makeup look. I've incorporated some green and orange on the lips. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Okay, so first things first, we need a really good primer to keep your makeup on. So I'm going in with a pore minimizing one straight over my open pores, which is mostly on my cheeks. And then I'm going in with a staying primer to help your foundation stay. And that goes all over the eyes as well. And by the way, I've already got my brows on. And for foundation today, I wanted to go in with a drugstore foundation because, hey, I never really use drugstore foundations on my channel. And I do really like this one. This is the Invaluable 24 Hour Wear Matte Foundation. And I use my MAC Fix Plus to dampen my beauty blender because uh, the Fix Plus has glycerin in it. It's the ingredient that helps your foundation stick. So that's what I like to press my foundation in with. And next I'm going in with this bad boy here, Soft Ochre Paint Pot, to prime my eyelids. This helps keep your eyeshadow on, even if your eyelids get oily or sweaty, it's not going to smudge off. Taking any light coloured eyeshadow to set that in place. That's going to give us a really smooth base, and then when we're blending our eyeshadows out, they're going to blend out a lot smoother. And I wanted to take my brows to the next level, so I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. This is just really going to carve them out and make them super intense and defined. And you can see that using the angle brush here can create a nice squared look at the beginning. And now we need to set our foundation so it doesn't transfer. Today I'm just using the Ben Nye Loose Powder. I really like this one. It's quite mattifying, which is awesome because I do get oily skin. And for the eyeshadows today, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morph Collection and I'm using this shade here and this shade here to contour the socket of my eyes. Now, I wanted to get a really sharp line, but I didn't have any regular sticky tape, so I had to use duct tape. Oopsies. Now, I'm just using the fluffy blending brush. This is a 16B by the brand Napoleon and I'm just putting quite a lot of color on there, so that's a really nice transition shade. And now I'm going into this darker shade here and a smaller brush, which is still a fluffy blending brush. And I'm using this to deepen up the outside corners of my eyes. Now I'm going in with a black eyeshadow, a matte black, and a smaller flat brush, and I'm packing this on the outside corners of my eyes. This is what's going to give us the depth and the definition, and then pick up a blending brush and blend it into those cranberry brown shades. And now I'm using my Lime Crime Eyeshadow Brightener. This is a really white product. If you don't have this, you can just use a white eyeliner smudged all over the inside of the mobile lid. Now I'm taking this green shade here and just pressing it on top of the eyeshadow brightener. The eyeshadow brightener is like a primer as well, so it does help the eyeshadows grip. And I do find that you don't get as much fallout when you do use a product like this. You don't have to use green here. You could definitely switch it up for another color. You could use gold or a silver or more of a metallic or of course like a pink or a purple. It's totally up to you. And now I'm just highlighting the insides of the mobile lids, going in with this loose eye dust. Of course, you could switch up, switch up the color of this as well, but I chose to use like a white that reflected a bit of a gold. And this is just the best feeling in the world getting this tape off, but it stuck to my skin so much, I swear this took probably like three years of my life. And time for under eye concealer. I got this as a sample and I absolutely love it, the double wear concealer. And then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Sand Sable. It's an awesome combination under the eyes because I find this Estee Lauder one in the shade Light Medium number two is a little bit more of a pinky tone, which counteracts with the darkness. And then the Fit Me one is a bit more of a yellow tone, which matches my foundation. So I'm just popping those both under the eyes and um, patting them out with my damp beauty blender. 
And once I've blended out my under eye concealer, I am good to go. I have no dark circles, I'm a new woman. Now I'm setting it with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Uh, make sure you blend out only underneath one eye and set it and then move on to the other eye so it doesn't have a chance to crease. Here I'm just taking a really tiny little brush and my matte black eyeshadow and I'm just touching up the outside corners. I find sometimes when you take your tape off of your eyes it can crinkle a little bit and crease. So here I am just touching it up. Okay, so now I'm going back into the two original shades that I used to contour my socket and I am taking my favourite MAC brush, I forget the number, um, I'll put it down in the description box and I'm just smudging my under eyes to give a bit of a smoky look. Once that's done, we're now going to do our gel eyeliner. Make sure you use one that's water resistant and smudge proof. We're lining the inside of the eyes at the bottom and then taking that small definer brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow and just working that into the lash line. This is what's going to create a nice smoky look. And now I'm just going in with my eyeliner on top. I'm doing a bit of a wing, but of course you don't have to. And then I'm going to tight line, which is putting the liner on the inside up the top. That's also optional. And now I wanted to add a little bit more green, um, especially to the lower lash line. So I'm just smudging that same green eyeshadow under the eyes. This does make the look more intense, so I thought I'd amp it up a notch. And now I am brightening the inside corners of the eyes, so I'm packing that loose eye dust in there just to make the eyes pop and give more of a white gold reflection. Going in with your mascara, if it's a dancing comp, I would recommend using a waterproof so it doesn't smudge uh, if you get a little bit sweaty. And I'm just using my favourite eyelashes here at the moment. These are my new discovery, the Sienna Glam Lashes, and just popping those on. And as you can see, this bronzer is widely loved. It's a really nice bronze tone. It's called Bronzing by the brand MAC. And I'm just sculpting out my cheekbones, putting a little bit of bronzer over the temples and just blending it out. I'm making it quite an intense contour, but I really like that look, especially for stage makeup or dance comps. You do want to see your cheekbones from a bit of a distance. And now I'm taking this bronzer, which is a lighter bronzer, so it's not quite as dark, and I'm using a bit of a bigger brush. What this is going to do is it's going to blend out the contour just so it doesn't look so harsh. And sometimes I like to do my highlighter now before my blush, so I'm going in with Becca Champagne Pop, which is of course by Jaclyn Hill. What a rock star. And now it's time to make the apples of the cheeks pop. So I'm taking Dolly Mix and Breezy, two MAC, um, I was about to say eyeshadows. You probably could use them as eyeshadows. Two MAC blushes and I'm just smiling and amping up the apples of the cheeks. It's time to line the lips. I'm going in with this orange shade called Perfect Poppy by Napoleon and I'm slightly overlining my lips. This is a beautiful bright orange color. Of course with these eyes you could really do any color. I just felt like a red would be a bit Christmassy, you know, red and green. Uh, you could do a pink. A pink would be pretty or even a deep purple. Now I'm going in with the lipstick Hara which is also by Napoleon. And I wanted to line the lips a little bit darker on the edges, so I'm taking this lip liner by Savvy in the shade Chestnut, just to make them a little bit more defined on the outside edges. And now I'm going back into that loose eye dust by Napoleon in Mosaic Gold, and I'm going over the top of my highlight just to make it really pop. Anyway, this brings me to the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And here's a sneak peek of some other ballroom dancing hair tutorials that I have on my channel. So if you have a chance, don't forget to check them out.